Hello everyone. Our job for today is troubleshooting challenge using documentation to solve issues. This is part two of a two-part activity. Part one is packet tracer, troubleshooting challenge, documenting the network, which you should have completed earlier in the chapter. In part two, you will use your troubleshooting skills and documentation from part one to solve connectivity issues between PCs. Part one. Gather documentation. Step 1. Retrieve network documentation. To successfully complete this activity, you will need your documentation for the packet tracer, troubleshooting challenge, documenting the network activity you completed previously in this chapter. Part 2. Test connectivity. Step 1. Determine location of connectivity failure. We ping the Cisco PKA server from PC1. Step 2. What pings were successful? The ping from PC1 to the Cisco PKA server was unsuccessful. Part 3. Gather data and implement solutions. Step 1. Choose a PC to begin gathering data. We choose PC1 first. Step 2. Telnet to the default gateway and continue gathering data. So the default gateway for PC1 is 10.2.15.1, IP address. Step 3. Use troubleshooting tools to verify the configuration. At the default gateway router, use troubleshooting tools to verify the configuration with your own documentation. Remember to check switches in addition to the routers. Be sure to verify addressing information, interface activation, encapsulation, routing, VLAN configuration, duplex or speed mismatches, As you can see, on R3, EIGRP1 is missing no auto summary, so it will summary the networks and advertise them in the wrong way. Step 4. Document network symptoms and possible solutions. To fix this problem, we just add the no auto summary statement to EIGRP1 configuration. Step 5. Make changes based on your solutions from the previous step. Repeat the above steps for the other PCs to locate issues. We tell net R2 from PC4 at 10.3.100.1, IP address.
As you see, interface, S0 slash 0 slash 0 was assigned to the wrong IP address. So to solve this problem, we must assign 10.1.0.3 IP address to port S0 slash 0 slash 0. Now, from PC6, we tell NetR1 of 10.4.1.1, IP address, on interface. S0 slash 0 slash 0, the encapsulation type set to be PPP entity frame relay. To fix it, we simply change the encapsulation to frame relay for S0 slash 0 slash 0. From PC7, Telnet R4 at 10.5.1.1, IP address. As you can see, R4 doesn't advertise any networks. So to resolve this issue, we network 10.0.0.0 with wildcard mask 0.255.255.255.
According to the network topology, no PC has a direct connection with R5. But, we can tell that R5 at one of IP addresses assigned to the ports on R5. In this case, we choose 10.1.0.1 IP address to tell net R5. As you can see, interface S0 slash 0 slash 1 is disabled. N, the access list 1 in that pool LAN were created, but access list 1 was not associated with the NAT pool LAN. To fix these problems, we enable interface S0 slash 0 slash 1 first, then associate access list 1 with the NAT pool LAN. Part 4. Test Connectivity Step 1. Test PC Connectivity Now, PC1 can ping the Cisco PKA server. Step 2. Check results. Your packet tracer score should be 70 for 70.
That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.